Hi, my name is Jeff Tucker. I'm so grateful that you spent a second or a couple of minutes to sit here and watch this video. And I'm going to tell you the one thing that you need to do that will cost you absolutely nothing, that will have such a profound effect on your horse's life forever that you will be uh, amazed. Amazed doesn't even touch it. In my practice for the past two years, I've offered this one thing to so many clients, and those who've decided to do it have found the same thing over and over again. They have such an improved horse. They have horses that were ill that are no longer ill. They have horses that have uh, hair coats that have come back shining and powerful. They've come back with uh, top lines that fill in. They have horses that now load on trailers or can be brushed or can be girthed without any objections, can be ridden without bucking or crow hopping and making life difficult. Behavior issues go away. Non-sweating horses start sweating in three to five days, and this is no lie. All right, and, and these testimonies are already on my website. You can read them. You can find them under the blogs. Uh, but that one thing that I would like to talk to you about is the two-week no-grain challenge. Now, I hear a lot of objections from people such as, oh, um, how are my horse is going to get the nutrients? Or my horse is going to like being skipped over at feeding time. Or um, I think my horse is going to lose too much weight. Well, if he does or any of these problems come up, just stop the two-week no-grain challenge because it costs you nothing and it really is nothing. It's actually feeding them only grass or pasture and hay and water, and that's it. You can add some salt. Make sure it doesn't have any sugars in it that is just pure salt, like Himalayan salt. But otherwise, just pasture, grass, and water, plus one very important thing. You take a notebook, and you, and you write down the date that you start, and on that date, you write down everything that you're seeing wrong with your horse. And that includes squirts that dribble down um, the back of the horse or maybe stick to the wall and you see the dribble uh, dry manure there. You want to write down everything that's going wrong with your horse. And then you want to write down all your observations on every day for the next two weeks. Now, stay tuned because I'm going to go over a little bit about what this is, all, what, what I'm talking about. But at the end, there's going to be a great offer uh, where you can learn more. Uh, which is my sole goal. I just want you to learn. I have no products because I'm not advocating any products. I'm actually suggesting that less is more. The more you take things away and let the horse start eating the way he's supposed to eat, the more healthful things you're going to see about your horse. It's that simple. But a lot of you don't understand all the ins and outs. And I like to get into that but this isn't the place. I only have a couple of minutes with you now. If you haven't tuned me out already, that's great because it, it's true. The two-week no-grain feeding challenge will alter the way your horse feels, acts, and behaves forever. Now, there is a little caveat here. If your horse is ancient, meaning he's 25 years old, maybe 30, and certainly older than that, you need to be careful. Because what happens with these horses that have the squirts or haven't been able to, you know, you barely keep them alive, you start taking away what they know and they may start to lose their fat. Now, if you look at the fat on the horse's body as a sign of inflammation in the horse, not that he's losing fat, that's bad, because when they lose fat, it's good. The problem is in older horses, as the fat comes off, you suddenly realize just how bad your horse is in top line and muscle definition. Because one of the things that you're going to learn if you stick around is that the more you feed these guys things that they're not supposed to eat, the more fat they're going to put on and the more protein that they have on their muscles is going to be digested by the horse and turned into sugar. And I know it's a fascinating subject and you're saying, whoa, whoa, whoa. Now, wait a minute. I don't understand that. Well, that's what the course at the end is all about. And just, I'm going to get to that in a second. But I want you to understand, if you have a horse that is extremely thin, a poor keeper, and you're feeding him 20 pounds of grain a day, these horses actually start to gain weight once you take the grain away. It's amazing. In fact, they become little porkers afterwards. If you have a horse that's hoovering, which is the term for vacuuming up everything a blade of grass out there, and they're so fat, what they're actually telling you is they're starving and all they can do with the food you're giving them is stored as fat. 
and they're starving. I'm going to teach you all about that too. But for those of you who don't want to dig deep and understand how it's working, that's fine. Just take away the one message, the one thing of equine nutrition, and that is to start feeding a horse the way it's supposed to be fed. Take the two-week no-grain challenge. Now, this includes carrots and apples and other treats that you feed the horse. Nothing goes in the horse's mouth other than the pasture that he's on and the hay that you can supply and water. And if you want, you can add some Himalayan salt and pure salt, but try to avoid all the salts that have the uh, sugars, the minerals and stuff that are added. Don't add those. Just take them out of the stall. Just the big red blocks gone. All right. Just grass, hay, water, and get your notebook and write it down. And I promise you, in two weeks, you're also going to be writing down a little note to me and saying, I never realized that this was a problem because for the past few years, that's what everyone's been doing. I've never had one, somebody, somebody come back and say, oh, that didn't work for me. I've had some people say it didn't work for me. And as I dig deep, I find that they didn't do what I said. They offered carrots every night, for instance, or another person was on a red salt lick. And that was enough to keep the dribbles coming down the horse's uh, hind end. Every time he defecated, um, I had another one who blamed it on the pasture because it was uh, genetically modified for cattle and had a higher sugar content. Well, maybe, but again, sugar, sugar, and we have to figure this all out. So if you stuck around this long, I want to again, thank you so much for taking time out of your busy day. I'm here only for your horse. I have no product to sell you. I do have a school though, a, a, a little short course, if you will, on equine nutrition. And I call it the 11 pillars of equine nutrition. I want to go down the list really quickly in the next 30 seconds. I'm going to talk about grazing versus browsing. Huge difference. I want to teach you the difference between carbohydrates, fats, and proteins. Once you understand that, your everything else will fall into place. Because most people don't understand that carbohydrates and fats are almost the same, just put together differently. I'm going to talk about this new thing about gut microbes and how important they are and why they're important and how we can nurture a better gut microbe. We're also going to talk about gut inflammation. What goes on in the gut, if it causes inflammation, will inflame the whole body. I promise you, get rid of the gut inflammation, you're going to get rid of most of the problems in your horse. I'm going to talk about a high-fat diet and how important it is that your horse gets on a high-fat diet. And I don't mean pouring a gallon of vegetable oil in its down its throat, because that's not what I'm talking about. I'm going to talk to you about how you get a horse on a high-fat diet and how it improves your life immeasurably. I'm also going to talk about something that's, that's devastating, and that's called carbohydrate dependency. And that is the key to everything. You get to that unit and learn about carbohydrate dependency. It'll change your life and your horse's life forever. I'm going to talk about energy production, the mitoc mitochondria that's in every one of these cells. I'm going to explain it to you in a way that makes sense. I'm also going to talk about the importance of protein and how it's so underestimated. Everyone talks about low carb and, and, and high fat diets, but nobody's talking about protein, how important they are. I think it's more important than the other two, way more important. I'm going to touch on genetically modified foods, fertilizers, and, and mineral and fertilizers added. I'm also going to talk about supplements, including vitamins, minerals, and electrolytes, and herbs, and spices. And finally, I'm going to touch on a new word that to many of you called lectins. And lectins are uh, plant proteins that are trying to harm your horse and make them sick. Once I cover all these 11 pillars of equine nutrition, you will absolutely change the way you feed your horse forever and to their benefit. You will now become your horse's advocate because if you don't advocate for your horse and start feeding the way he needs to be fed, then somebody else will become the advocate. They're usually somebody who has something to sell to you. I want you to be prepared so you can understand all these feedings that you're giving your horse, all these supplements that are on your shelf, all these bags of grains that you've gotten, these bags of carrots and boxes of apples that you bought. I want them all to go because that's not what a horse eats. And once you understand not only what a horse eats, but why they eat it and how it's turned in energy and how you can get the athlete back, the sound horse, the healthy horse, the horse with a hair coat that shines in the moonlight, the horse that has a top line that is award winning and athletic like you want, then you're going to be happy. OK, so the 10 or the two week no grain challenge, 10 days, two weeks, you'll be amazed. After 10 days, you'll say, OK, I'm, I'm hooked. And that's the one thing I want to tell you about in this video. And uh, hopefully you want to uh, learn a little bit more and, and enjoy uh, and, and enroll in my course. But uh, 
up until that, I, you know, just try it. And if you don't like it, uh, no harm done. You can go back to the way you're feeding your horse. Um, but <laughs> you won't, I promise. All right, thanks. Uh, Doc T, so everyone calls me. I'll talk to you later. Bye.